Blessed evening, 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 blessed evening. Oh, for this is the day that the Lord he has made. I, I shall rejoice and I shall be glad in it. Heaven, blessed evening. God bless you, baby. Thank you for joining. God bless you. It's so wonderful to see you. I've missed you. I pray all is well. Uh, we just give praise and honor unto the Lord because God is good. I just want to say thank you to the Lord tonight for God is good. Blessed evening. Blessed evening. Blessed evening. I am so excited about what God is going to do. I am so excited about how God is going to bless us tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to say, but all I know is that he still loves me. And um, on Friday, and I just want to share, you know, how we came up with the topic for tonight. And um, we were playing the song on Friday morning for the morning encouragement. And um, Yolanda said, you know, play um, the song from Fighting Temptations. He still loves me. I'm like, Fighting Temptations? I hope she's not talking about, you know, no R&B music. And when I was like, Fighting Temptations, I was like, well, let me check it out. I might know that. And, then I, and when I went, I'm like, that's the movie. And I just thank the Lord. I'm going to play this song tonight. I encourage you to just join in with us. God is going to bless. I have a, a message of encouragement. And I know the Lord is going to bless me and he's going to bless you. If you know the song, sing it along. I like to play music because music praise is what opens up the presence of the Lord. Praise is what what gives us, you know, such joy and excitement in our hearts and in our spirits. So I just ask that you please share the live while we are actually on here, share the live so that people can join in and actually have, you know, real time um, with us. And I just ask that you share it wherever you can in your groups, wherever you can share it at, just, you know, just share it. And I just thank the Lord for you all joining on tonight. God is good. He's worthy of the praise. I ask you to get your hearts and minds prepared because we are going to read uh, from the book of John. And we're going to read John, uh, the third chapter, and we're going to read from the 16th verse. So I'm going to play this song. If you know it, sing it. God bless you, baby. God bless you. If you know the song, sing it as I play it. Took me a while, but I'm finally here. And I just want to testify, make it crystal clear. Blessings, baby. God bless you. Picked on, I've been talked about, offering now. I've been beat down till you turn my life around. Turn my life around. I always fall short of being worthy. I ain't good enough, but he still love me. I ain't no superstar. Spotlight ain't shining on me. I ain't good enough, but he still love me. I used to wake up some days and wish I'd stay to sleep. Cause I went to bed on top of the world today. The world's on top of me. Everybody's got opinions. But they ain't been in my position. It breaks my heart when I hear what they have to say about me. Falling short. Lord, I ain't worthy. Oh, but you still love me. I, I ain't no superstar, but I want to be for you. But he still love me, me, me. I'm not perfect. Yes, I do wrong. Trying my best. Just ain't good enough. Been shunned by the world. If I don't succeed, I ain't good enough. If we were to just raise your hands and let me know that you understand that we are all so blessed to be loved, loved, stand for him or fall 
for anything. Through his eyes, we all look the same. We do without grace. We are not worthy. I ain't good enough. I ain't good enough. I ain't no superstar, but I want to be for you, Lord. But you still love me, me, me. I'm not perfect. No, 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 no. Yes, I do wrong. I'm trying my best. I ain't good enough. I should find the world if I don't succeed. I ain't good enough. Just y'all me sing. Y'all help me sing. Y'all sing with me. Understand the sing with me. Has the Lord been so good to me? I've been shunned by the world, world. Yeah. I ain't good enough, but the Lord still loves me. Wave your hands if you understand how he blessed you and he blessed me too. Even though I ain't worthy, you ain't worthy, he's there for you. No matter what I do, I ain't good enough, but the Lord still loves me. Oh, we thank the Lord tonight. Oh, we thank the Lord tonight. We thank God because God still loves us. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you brace us on tonight. God, we ask that you touch us during this Monday night live. God, we pray that God, whatever it is that I say, that it touches someone's heart to know that God, you love them. God, though they've done wrong, God, though we've done wrong, God, we've been shunned by the world if we don't succeed. But God, even though we feel that we're not good enough, God, you we know that you still love us. So God, we pray that you touch the minds of your people tonight, that you heal. God, use me at your will. God, let your light shine through me to be a blessing to someone's spirit tonight. God, we thank you. God, we give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory. And we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You know, I. Yolanda, I thank you for that song. I totally forgot about it. But some of us hurt so bad. Because the more we try to love, the more they, they talk down on us. The more we try to give them genuineness, the more they... You know, we're not good enough for him. But today I come to present to you a man. And his name is Jesus. And no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, he still, he still loves you. He still loves you. Some of us hurt. We hurt so bad because you just want people to accept you for who you are. You want people to love you for who you are in everywhere you go. They're taken from you. They mistreat you. They put you down. They you know, they use you up <laughs> and leave you to the wayside. But I know a man. And on tonight, I come to introduce you to that man. And that man came from the greatest father that you and I could ever have. And I want to read from the book of John, 
and I feel someone's pain. Every time I cry like this is because I, I can feel someone's pain. You don't have to be in my presence for me to feel your pain. You don't have to be next to me for me to feel your pain. I can feel it. It's a gift. I have touched many people that have been in pain and they ask me, how did I know? And it's not me that knows, but it is the spirit of the Lord. God knows when we're struggling. God knows when we're going through. He knows when we're hurting. So he he sends people to let us know that he's with you, that he's with us, that we don't have to be worried and, and we don't have to doubt, but know that God is there and he loves us. No matter what we do, he still loves us. Wave your hands if you understand how he blessed you and he blessed me too. Even though I ain't worthy and you ain't worthy, he's still there for us. So don't worry about those people. Don't worry about those people that make you feel like you're not good enough. The other day I shared a, a um, oh God, I thank you. Oh, I felt that pain. That one, that one was for real. That one, we going we pray that the Lord says something tonight to help that pain uh, decrease and go away. I, I shared a, a, a meme the other night and uh, I asked that you please share the live. Uh, please share the live. Um, about this young boy that was sitting at the table by himself and he was reading a Bible and you saw the kids in the background like laughing at him and, and joking at him. Um, and I, I've, I've been in that position where, you know, you're the only one at a table. You know, everybody is mistreating you, you know, um, but yet it'll come back and, and say how you're the sweetest person and, oh, always friendly and walks around telling everybody great morning and, you know, very positive. And, but if this person is such a wonderful person, why do you isolate them? Why do you treat them different? But what I come to encourage you to be on tonight is yourself. Because the song says, no matter what you do, he still loves you. God created you to be who you are. Allow God to mold you into what he has destined for you to be. Even though we're not worthy, he still loves us. So I want to read from the book of John, John chapter 3, verse 16. And, and I was asking the Lord to give me something that relates to this song. And this is it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, God, you're worthy. I, I can't even get on here tonight. There's so much praise in my heart, but I feel that pain. There's so much praise in my heart. Yesterday, I went to church. I was just, I was cutting up, shouting just all over the place. I mean, I wasn't moving. I was in my little spot, but, you know, but I encourage you tonight to know, and I'm going to play that song again. I hear to play that song in my spirit, that you're not perfect. And God didn't design you to be. But God created you to be for him. So stop looking at yourself and thinking that you're not beautiful. Stop thinking at your looking at yourself and saying that you're not handsome or attractive or nobody wants you or, you know, life is not meant for you to succeed or prevail. That is not the truth. No matter what you do, God still loves you, even though you're not worthy, even though you make mistakes, even though you're not doing what people may want you to do that's right. But it says no matter what I do, he still loves me. And it says that he get in the word it says that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish it didn't say you had to be shaped like a coca-cola bottle 
It didn't say that you had to make all A's in school. It didn't say, you know, that if you graduated with a 2.5, that the Lord didn't love you and wouldn't accept you. If you couldn't grow on your job, it didn't say that God doesn't love you. It says whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That means that God loved us so much that he gave his only son that all you have to believe, all you have to do is believe in him. And if you believe in him, that opens up the door. That opens up the connection between you and God. See, what we don't realize is that it doesn't have to be perfect for Jesus. It doesn't have to be perfect for him. But what we have to do is give our lives to him because he gave his only begotten son that all you have to do is believe in him. So where are you believing right now? Is your belief based upon the reliance of man? Is your belief based upon how you are praised and, and how people give you credit and, and how, you know, they uplift you? No, 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 because no matter what you do, people will not be satisfied with your actions. So you are attempting to serve the wrong ones. Instead, I present to you on tonight and I open the door for you to say, trust in the Lord, obey his word, come and give your heart to Jesus. No, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter if you're small. It doesn't matter if you're big. It doesn't matter if you're tall, if you're short, if you're round, if you're curvy, if if you, you know, didn't graduate high school or if you got a, a doctor's degree from school. It doesn't matter if you can't keep a job. It doesn't matter if you keep going through all these marriages. It doesn't matter if, you know, you don't know how to raise your, ch your children right, but you're trying the best that you can. It doesn't matter. No matter what you do, he still loves you, but he still needs you to get your soul right. That is unconditional love. When you can love someone beyond their faults and flaws, when you can love someone no matter what they do wrong, when you can love someone and realize and understand that no matter what, we all make mistakes. That is the God that we serve. No matter what I do, he still loves me. Even though I'm not worthy and you're not worthy, he still loves us. He gave his only son. And all you have to do is believe in him to walk in the abundance, to walk in eternal life. All you got to do is believe in him. Some of us can't even do that. We let people drive us and dictate our emotions. People say harmful things to us. Don't you realize that the enemy comes to kill still and to destroy? But the son that God gave us, his only begotten son, he came so that we can have life and that we can have it more abundantly. That's love. The one who wants to see you prosper. The one who wants to see you get ahead. The one who doesn't want you walking in fear, but wants you walking in trust. The one who wants you to hold on to him. The one who says that by his stripes, you are healed. So the burden that he bared on the cross for you, it heals you from all depression. It heals you from all the worrying. It heals you from all the burdens that you carry on your shoulders. And tonight, God is letting you know, and I thank him for this message that he still loves you. Yes, you've made a mistake. Yes, you've done wrong. Yes, people have put you down and ridiculed you and said, oh, you're not going to amount to anything. But the grave, the word says that they dig for you, is the grave that they dig for themselves. So you got to understand that the God that we serve, the plans that he has for you. Oh, God, we thank you. Those plans to prosper you. Let it go. Let it go and give it to God. I've had someone tell me I wouldn't make it. I had someone tell me I wouldn't be nobody.
I've had someone tell me and try to judge my life and tell me I wouldn't amount to nothing. But the grace of the Lord is what kept me. The strength of the Lord is what kept me. So I can sit before you tonight and know and let you know that he still loves you. So don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. But you got to trust him. You got to believe that he's going to give you what you ask for. You got to believe that no matter what you do, that he loves you. No matter where you are in life, that he's still with you. That he'll never leave nor forsake you or have your seed to beg of bread. So when situations arise in your life, just keep focusing on that no matter what I do, God still loves me. So God, because you love me, I'm going to read your word. God, because you love me, I'm going to study. God, because you love me, I'm going to walk around with this Bible saying, I want to be filled more with the presence of the Lord. God, because you love me, I'm going to live righteously. God, because you love me and you gave your only begotten son, that all I have to do is believe in him so that I will not perish. I will sing praises unto your name. But God, I need you to walk with me. I need you to talk with me. I need you to hold my hand because I can't do this on my own. I can't fight this fight without you. So God, I ask that you suit me in the armor of protection because God, I need you. So God, I need to be steadfast in this word and I need to be unmovable because God, if I go left or go right, God, if I'm not doing it exactly the way you need me to, no matter what I do, God, you still love me. Oh, I should see way more excitement going on on this live tonight because the thing is that we sit and we get so depressed because we, we nobody loves us. Nobody cares about me. I'm doing all I can. And the more I do, the more they take, the more I love, the more they try to break me, the more I try to give them and show them that I'm there, the more they keep criticizing and ridiculing me and talking bad to me and, and disencouraging me from moving forward. But I know a God that says, no matter what you do, I'll love you. All you have to do is keep walking in me. All you have to do is believe in my son. All you you got to say is, God, I'm trusting you. All you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. And God will. Not he might. Not he may be. Not we not for sure. You know, you go to someone and you say, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You go to someone and say, I need your help. The first thing the person says was, I don't know. Well, you know, I got to see. I might, I might be able to, to help you. I, I might be able, I'm gonna have to see what I can do. Not God, not God. Let that pain go, I feel it again. Let it go, give it to the Lord. That pain that you carry, give it to God. He's the one that's gonna make a way for you. He's the one that's gonna deliver you and set you free. He's the one that's going to give you the promises that you desire. But see, when we come to God, there is no maybe. Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name. <laughs> what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you ask in my name, it shall be given. He didn't say, I might give it. I got to think about it. Uh, you know, it's a possibility I'm going to give it to you. Anything you ask in my name, it will be given. He still loves us. And we got to remember that he needs us to be obedient to his word. He needs us to seek him. He needs us to be in this word studying and feeding our spirits with the word so that when the attacks come, we can fight. But no, no matter what you do, God still loves you. He's there with you. He's there for you. He's willing to help you. He's willing to get you through. He's willing to carry you. You just got to hold on. Hold on to the Lord. I heard to play this song again in my spirit. I'm going to play it one more time. It's not a long song. But as I sing it, again listen to the words i encourage you to even go look for it it's off of the fighting temptations movie he still loves me took me a while but i'm finally here 
I just want to testify. Make it crystal clear. Take your time. You've been picked out, been picked on, talked about. I've been beat down until he turned my life around. Feels like I'm always falling short of being worthy. Cause I ain't good enough, but he still love me. I ain't no superstar, spotlight ain't shining on me. I ain't good enough, but he still love me. I used to wake up some days and wish I stayed asleep. Went to bed on top of the world today. The world's on top of me. Everybody's got opinions, but they ain't been in my position. That it breaks my heart when I feel what they have to say about me. Falling short. Lord, I ain't running. Oh, but you still love me. I, I ain't no superstar, but I want to be for you. But you still love me, me, me. I'm not perfect. Yes, I do wrong. Trying my best, just ain't good enough. I've been shunned by the world. If I don't succeed, I ain't good enough. If you ain't worthy, just raise your hand and let me know that you understand and know that we are so blessed to be loved stand for him or fall for anything cause through his eyes we all look the same what will we do without faith we are not worthy I ain't good enough I ain't good enough I ain't no superstar but I wanna be for you Lord but you still love me, me, me. I'm not perfect. No, 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 no. Oh, God, our Heavenly Father. God, we thank you. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you understand, you sing with me. Has the Lord been so good to me? I've been shunned by the world, world. I ain't good enough, but the Lord still loves me. Wave your hands if you understand how he blessed you and he blessed me too. Even though I ain't worthy, you ain't worthy, he's there for you. No matter what I do, but the Lord still loves me. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. God, for you alone are worthy of the praise. We thank you. We give you praise and honor. Um, we thank you, Lord God, for just being who you are and what you are in our lives. God, if you've heard the message for tonight, God, we have let your people know that, God, no matter what, you still love us. No matter what we're going through, God, no matter the situation, the turmoil, God, no matter what it is that we're fighting in our lives, God, tonight we ask that you continue to bless, God, for the request of prayer that was presented. God, we ask that you touch, God, his life. God, whatever it is that he's facing, whatever it is that he's going through, God, we ask 
ask that you move in his life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray that you touch every person, God, that has heard and that will listen to the sound of my voice. God, those that are struggling with depression. God, those that are contemplating taking their lives. God, those that feel that they don't matter, that they're not relevant or they're not important, God, because they feel like they just make mistake after mistake after mistake. But God, on tonight, we lay everyone at the altar this morning. God, and we come and ask that you step in. God, as you are Jehovah Jireh, God, you are our provider. God, as you are Jehovah Nisi, God, we ask right now that you continue to move in the people's lives tonight. God, that you continue to shift the atmosphere. God, that you continue to bless and strengthen. God, no matter what, you still love us. So God, on tonight, we raise our hands and we lift our hands to you saying, Father God, in the name of Jesus, hear our plea. God, hear our cry. God, touch us, Lord, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. God, let us be filled with a joy, an unspeakable joy. God, let us continue to trust in you. God, lean not to our own understanding, but God, in all things, acknowledge you in all of our ways so that you will direct our path. But God, on tonight, we ask that you suit us up. God, for whatever mistake that we've made, God, we give it to you. God, for whatever we feel, God, that we're not worthy enough. God, we give those things to you, God, and we ask that you deliver in the name of Jesus for every broken home. Hallelujah. God, we lay it at the altar right now. God, there are so many people pretending that they're living in happiness, but God, they're living in misery. So on tonight, God, we plead the blood of Jesus. God, and we ask that you stop by. God, and you pay a special visit for those that are in the hospital bed. God, bodies reckoning in pain. God, we ask that you deliver. God, as you are our healer. God, and as your word says, by his stripes, we are healed. So God, on tonight, we plead the blood of Jesus. God, and we ask that you walk through each and every home. God, that you anoint the crevices and the cracks of the walls. God, let every demonic force that is in the home to destroy, God, let it go back to the pits of hell from which it has come. God, we plead the blood of Jesus. God, we plead the blood of Jesus. God, no more walking in shame. No more walking in defeat. But God, we plead the blood of Jesus. God, that we stand in the victory and the power of the Almighty. God, and we will honor you, God. So we say to you, God, have us. God, accept us, Lord, in your sight. God, as we believe in the word, God, and you said to us that whomsoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life so, life. so tonight, God, we thank you for your son, Jesus. God, for that pain that I felt, God, I pray. God, that you send comfort. I pray, God, that you send angels and dispatch them all around that individual. God, and I pray, God, that for a mighty move to take place in their lives, God, no more struggling, no more walking in doubt, God, no more wondering, God, no more thinking that they won't be able to make it, but instead today, God, they rise up saying, that God, no matter what, you still love me. No matter what I do, God, you still love me. So God, let them begin to cry out on to you, saying, Jehovah, heal me. God, you are El Shaddai. God, you are El Heen. So God, give us the strength to fight. God, when the enemy tries to devour, give us the strength to be steadfast and unmovable. God, abiding in the word of Christ. So God, we say right now, God, that you speak to every heart. God, that you speak to every mind. God, and for everything that the enemy is trying to do to destroy, God, we bind him in the mighty name of Jesus. God, and we speak the victory. God, we speak the victory. God, we're going to put on our big boy pants. God, and we're going to walk in the abundance that you have given us. God, we're going to shuck and shot. God, we're going to duck and flip. God, we're going to move. God, because because this fight, we're going to win. God, we know that with your son, Jesus, God, we have the victory. So God, tonight, we ask that you open up, God, the floodgates of heaven, and God, let it rain. But God, we thank you that tonight, no matter what, God, that you still love us. So God, we thank you. God, and we ask that you fill us up, Lord, with the love that gives us the capability to love those the way you love us. God, no more burdens. No more worrying. God, we ask that you help them to let it go. Let them bring it to the altar and give it to you, God. Let your will be done, God, in their lives, in our lives, God. We give it to you, God, and we thank you. 
Oh, Lord, you're worthy of the praise. And we say thank you. We cry out to you, Abba, Father. We cry out to you, Abba, Father, God, and we thank you. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. For you alone, God, are worthy. In Jesus' blessed and mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you so much for joining the live. God is such an awesome and amazing God. And it's such a wonderful thing when you can come and talk about God and cry, when you can come and talk about God and laugh, when you can come and talk about the Lord and have a great time because God is in the midst. And God wants you to know that no matter what you're going through, that he loves you. And all you got to do is just come to him. He will be there with you. Even though you ain't worthy, we ain't worthy, but he still loves us. So continue to hold on to the Lord. Stop relying on people to give you comfort because no one can give you comfort like God can. God sent his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He loves you that much. Nobody's going to lay down their life for you. But God gave his son, his only son, so that you can walk in the victory. So tonight I encourage you to smile. Tell God thank you for loving you so much. They talked about you. They put their mouth on you. They laugh at you. They pick at you, tell you you ain't going to be nobody. You're going to be in a house full of a whole bunch of kids. You ain't, ah. The grave that they dig for you, the word says, is the grave they dig for themselves. Tonight, I come to prophesy over your life. You will win. You will win. If you got to look at me in your phone, hold your phone up directly in front of your face and look at me in the eyes as I prophesy this to your spirit tonight. You will win. He still loves you. So don't let the enemy tell you that you won't make it because you've made mistakes. Don't let the enemy tell you that because you've walked in sin that God will not forgive you. That he doesn't want you, that he doesn't care about you, that you're not worthy or you're not acceptable. The devil is a lie and the truth is not in him. And I tell Lucifer right now in the mighty name of Jesus to get his bags, his stuff, everything he came with and get gone. Because you are a child of the most high God and you will walk in prosperity. We declare and we decree that right now in the name of Jesus. No more walking in doubt. Remember that God still loves you. No matter what you do. God bless you. God bless you. Please share the live. Please share the live. Share it everywhere. Everywhere you can. It's the Monday Night Live. It's MNL Night. M-N-L. I finally said it with no tongue twisters. Woohoo! Yay, me. I'm so excited. We thank God for what God is doing. We ask that you please join us tomorrow, uh, Monday through Friday. We have morning encouragement anywhere between 8 and 8.30. You can get me on my page, Yvette Hall. Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, put your name in the drawing. We have a few names for the, the free t-shirt that we're having, uh, the raffle for the free t-shirt. Uh, there are some sayings that I'm going to say at the end of this live, and I want these things to stick with you. If you join in, in the morning encouragement, you know what these things are. Um, however, I want to say them every time I get the opportunity because I want these things to, to be with you so that you can speak these things so that the Lord can strengthen you. Um, please just share the live in every group that you're in, everywhere you are. Do watch parties. Share them all over the place because people need to understand that God still loves us. There are so many people, you know, teaching that, you know, if you you ain't Ain't doing this you going to hell yes if you don't obey the word yes you you gonna see hell but it's not for me to put you there it's for me to help you love the lord so that we can go into them pearly gates together i want all y'all to come holding hands with me we want to go into the kingdom together because we we what we kingdom baby we kingdom <laughs> i so love that 
So God bless you. I thank you for joining MNL night. I pray that you share the live. I pray that the Lord has said something through me that has blessed your spirit. I pray that you have been touched, that you have cried out to the Lord, asking him for help and, and to guide you through your situation and remembering that he still loves you no matter what you do, no matter how imperfect you are, no matter whether your hair is long, curly, short. You know, I got a whole bunch of hair going on right now. We thank the Lord. I, I like it. So we going to, you know, stay a little fluffy for a little bit. But we thank God. God is good. Love yourself because the Father who created you, He loves you. Let's begin with our acronyms. I hope you know them. I hope you're ready. All right. First one H I M M. Him. What does that mean? He is molding me. Him. Okay. Pray. P R A Y. Prioritize righteousness around you. Now, I just, I heard push too. I didn't come up with that one, but push, pray until something happens. And I encourage you to just keep trusting in the Lord. Hashtag, we, we addicted to Jesus. Uh, if you'd like a shirt, please reach out to me. We have shirts for sale. Um, we kingdom, baby. The kingdom. And I hope after you heard the message tonight, <laughs> you be by that Jesus life. God bless you. Some people may think I'm goofy. Some people may think I'm nerdy. Some people may think whatever they want to think about me. And I'll be honest with you. It used to matter to me, but it doesn't. I love God. And I thank God that he still loves me. And he loves you too. And I love you because you matter, you're important, you mean something. You matter to me, to this ministry, to God, to Christ, and to the body of Christ. Never let anybody make you feel that your life is not worth living. You are a very important individual. You're a very important person. And God, he still loves you. Have a blessed night in the Lord and know that God will never leave nor forsake you. God bless you. Thank you for joining MNL Night. We kingdom, baby. We bought that Jesus life. God bless you. Have a blessed night.